Hey there, it's Irene Durang with ToolsForRealEstate.com. I want to show you a really cool tool that helps you choose keywords that help you uh, get found more easily online by your prospective clients. It's called Google Trends. First of all, I want to show you what I'm doing here. I'm on YouTube and I'm in the process of uploading a video that I just did on how to create a Facebook business page, also known, known as a, a Facebook fan page. So YouTube, when you're uploading these things, asks you to come up with keywords that people might then use um, when they're searching YouTube to find your specific content, and these are called tags. So the question is, as I'm writing this in here, is um, should I put Facebook business page or Facebook fan page, make a Facebook business page, or um, do people search by create a Facebook f uh, business page? These are all things that I think they might search for, but actually I don't know unless I check Google Trends. So the website is google.com slash trends. If you're feeling lazy, you can just Google Google Trends, and the first thing that will come up will be the Google Trends. So now what I'm trying to figure out here is, do people search for create a Facebook um, page? or make a, a Facebook page. And I'm not going to put business or fan page in here yet because that narrows down the search term enough that I might not have enough data for it. But right now I want to know if people use create or make. So I just separate those two terms with commas and click search terms. And here's what comes up. This shows me that not surprisingly um, back in 2008 not many people were looking for this kind of thing. But I can clearly see that create Facebook page is used more than make Facebook page. However, it's interesting to note that both of them are used, you know, quite a bit. So I'm going to show you something that I always forget to do because um, it might help you remember to do it. If you're looking in the United States and that's your market, then obviously I'm scrolling down here. I'm selecting the United States. That is, um, that's the market you want to search for. So as soon as I do that, it's going to recalculate and it'll show me now, again, we get the same results for more people who do create Facebook page, but it is a little bit different. So business pages are also called fan pages, and one thing I might be wondering if I'm trying to pick keywords is should I put Facebook business page or Facebook fan page, or both, if um, people search for both of them quite a bit. And what I can see here is that people have been searching for Facebook fan pages a lot more than Facebook business pages, although now people are starting to search for Facebook business pages. But that's really good for me to know when I'm picking keywords. So now when I'm picking my, key my keywords, I know for sure that I want to have Facebook fan page in here, not just Facebook business page, and also that it's okay to use create and make for both Facebook fan and Facebook business page because people search for both of those terms. If I was pressed for keywords and I needed to choose, I would, under, I would know that more people search for create and Facebook fan page instead of Facebook business page. So this is how you can use this um, to search for the keywords that people use in your business to search for the services or the products that you provide. So remember, don't just assume people are searching for what you think they're searching for. Check Google Trends and um, find out for sure. Be sure to check into the toolsforrealestate.com blog for more tips and resources for your real estate business. And thanks for watching.